Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate random numbers in R. So, let's say we want a random number uh, generated between uh, 5 and 10. So, how do we come up with a random number between 5 and 10? We can use the function uh, run if and it's going to give us. And the syntax is like this. We want single random number, it's just one random number and the range is 5 and 10. Okay, so it's going to give you any random, any just any number between 5 and 10. Okay, and what run if does is it actually assumes that each number between 5 and 10 has equal probability of selection. So it, it actually derives the value from the uh, uniform distributions and that's how we get a value. So let's run this. Okay, uh, and we get 5.6 and it won't be an integer. I'm going to show you how I actually get an integer, but uh, to also get a fraction so <clears throat> yeah every time you run you actually get uh, you're likely to get a different number because it's totally random but how do you get multiple uh, random numbers okay so instead of just one mention how many random numbers you want so here we want like 20 random numbers between 5 and 10 okay and let's run this and we get 20 different random numbers okay you can get as many as you want so, okay, but how do we get gen integers? Oftentimes, we will be needing only integers, not the fractions. So, for that, we have to use the function sample. We want, uh, let's say, just one integer between, uh, let's say, 5 and 10. Okay, 5 and 10. So, let's run this. We get 6. You can run as many times you want. And you will likely you will like to get uh, a different random number every time you run. Of course, it's going to lie between 5 and 10. Uh, what if we want multiple integers, not just one integer? Okay, so in that situation, we can get with replacement and without replacement, which means that a, a single integer uh, can be there in the output twice. So that could be the case. So between 1 and 10, let's say we want 8 integers values. Okay, so each integer value between 1 and 10 is equally likely to be selected but at the same time there could be uh, duplicates because we have selected replace as true okay we can also have replace as uh, false in that situation we'll simply get unique values without any duplicates so here you see there are some duplicates like two every time you run this you are going to get a duplicate okay let me run it once more we get nine and two as duplicates right uh, but how about using false? So in that situation, we're only going to get the unique values. So there is no duplicate you can see. Uh, let me run once more. Uh, unique, right? You do not see any duplicates here. Alright, uh, this can also be used for non-numerical applications, not just for uh, you know numerical applications such as getting integers, getting fractions, but we can also get um, we can also use this for non-numerical purposes. Okay, so for instance, let's say we have the number of states in the United States. So you, if you use a state dot name, it's going to give you the 49 states in the United States. And let's say we want only the 10 numbers, 10 states name. Okay, so we go to use sample, and it has to be random. So then, you know, here we get. Okay. 10 different state names okay but you cannot get more than 52 sorry 49 right uh, yeah so there are 52 I guess total 52 states uh, okay let me try it out yeah so it actually shows error because there are not 52 states in the total sample so when you actually use this, uh, you only go to get um, the replacement equal to false. So that's by default, 